What's going on there guys, my name is Matt, or Chewy as most of you will know me as, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the new Active Sky 2016 along with the new Active Sky Cloud Art and Rex Soft Clouds to work together. Just quickly before I do start, all credit to this video and how it works is down to uh, OMG Edson at skylounge.tv. I will leave a link in the description down to the website where you can see uh, he's done a little video and he's also put uh, like a little article together showing you guys um, what the different kind of situations and scenarios look like with Asuka and Rex and all of those kind of things. So in this video, I'm just going to show you what has worked best for me. I'm still fiddling with things here and there, but but for the minute, my simulator is looking absolutely phenomenal, if I do say so myself. On another, on another quick side note, sorry, I am a little ill, so if I sound under the weather, it's because I am. But first off, let's get into it. As usual, if you're an Active Sky Next uh, product owner, you will know that basically just to get yourself connected to the sim, you'll need to open up the software. So this is the new Active Sky 16, and the weather control, as usual for the minute, is the live weather mode. I will be honest with you here right now and say that I have not changed anything in the settings. Over time, this may change, and I hope to update you all about it, but what I'm doing right now, I have not changed a single thing in here. I have literally just loaded up Active Sky 16. So once you've loaded up Active Sky 16, you'll also need to then load up Asuka as well. Now, this is where things get interesting, and this is where you're going to basically set up to be able to use Rex Soft Clouds instead of the textures of the clouds in Asuka. There's been a lot of people saying that they still prefer the Rex Soft Clouds textures, and so if you're one of those people, but you've already bought Asuka and you want to try and include it in your simulator still, this is what I'm going to show you. So what you're going to want to do is flick through all of the themes here. There's quite a lot of them, um, and they all have different settings which you can kind of edit as you go along. But what you're going to need to do is pop it on global automatic, and that will just pop everything there in automatic mode, obviously. And as it says by the description here, it will globally apply weather influence textures automatically throughout your flight to provide maximum variety. So that will change the textures of the um, of the clouds and everything as you're flying, as the weather conditions change. But if you don't want the Asuka cloud textures and you do want to go back to Rexoft clouds, the way that you do that is to then head into heading head in. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Head in. There we go to the settings page on Asuka, and you can see here it says enabled content. I simply got rid of all four of these. This is what the uh, article recommended to do. Currently the image quality is on 1024 times 1024 32 bit and at the minute I don't see a need to pop it any higher but I don't really think it matters if the content isn't even enabled. So apologies, I'm not too sure if this section is even relevant but the most important thing is to get rid of all of the enabled content. Simply save and apply once you've done that, and then leave Asuka open. Don't close it, because if you close it, it won't do the automatic, um, you know, um, weather influence texture changes, basically. So you minus Asuka down, and then you still got Active Sky 16 and Asuka open. The next thing you're going to, going, to, uh, going to want to do is go back onto Rex for Texture Direct or Soft Clouds. I've got them loaded in here together. And uh, if you've previously used this product, uh, then you can find uh, your theme, which you've used before. If you don't know how to do that, there are YouTube videos on how to select a theme and everything. And in a previous video on my channel, I show you all my theme. So I'm not going to go into detail about that. But all you simply want to do is click install. So here's my theme at the top here, Matt version 1 as I've called it, with all of my settings um, and respective themes that I want for the different areas all loaded in. You simply click install like so. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and it will load everything in and then you've got soft clouds working again. You can exit out of Rex for Texture Direct then, you don't need it anymore as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't need to back up anything there so don't worry about that. And then we can load up the simulator. Right, let's go full screen and then I can show you what my simulator is looking like. I've left the sound off now, I've not got uh, Easy Dock loaded or anything like that. But this is what my simulator is looking like at the minute. We're loaded in, uh, loaded in at uh, Gatwick where currently live weather is pretty abysmal, like there's just cloud everywhere. But oh my gosh does it look awesome so this is rex uh, soft clouds with asuka and active sky 2016 all working at once another thing to get the real overcast kind of feel to the simulator fully enhanced what you want to do is go to options and then settings head down to the weather tab and pop your cloud coverage density onto maximum. If your computer can't handle that, then it's okay. But if your computer can handle it and you've got the uh, the hardware to really push your simulator a bit, 
you can pop that cloud coverage density right the way to maximum and uh, what that will do is basically just make the overcast conditions really enhanced and uh, look very very good indeed as you saw outside I've not changed the cloud draw distance. Again, I may mess around with that uh, slider in, in a future time, but at the minute, everything looks fine for me. And I'm sure the big thing that a lot of people will be asking here is what is performance like? Well, uh, my system specs, I'll leave down in the description once again. Just departing from here with all of my add-ons and all and everything like this running, uh, whilst in cruise, just above the clouds level, I was, well, whilst passing through the clouds, I was getting about 120 frames outside the flight deck in a wing view and about 50 to 80 frames within the flight deck so in terms of performance so far touch wood i have not seen any diminishes and decreases in my performance in my simulator i'll test things out still muck about with things and, and have fun and see if there's anything that changes over time but i just wanted to upload this quick little video to you guys just to show you how you can get all three working in tandem like so and um, i promise you as you can see by the results i've got here you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you again soon. Chewie signing out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you again soon.